Nashville is pushing to bring a Mills team to Nashville and building a stadium helps their chances. Video by Michael Schwab slash USA Today Network, Tennessee. Tennessee House Majority Leader Gerald McCormick laughs Tuesday, January 5, 2016, at the Chattanooga Times Free Press, photo, Angela Lewis Foster slash Times Free Press. Rep. Gerald McCormick, R. Chattanooga, filed a bill Monday that would require municipalities to hold a non-binding referendum election before property tax or sales tax revenue could be used to service debt on a professional sports team stadium. McCormick said Tuesday the issue is a growing concern to several lawmakers he's talked to who are concerned about taxpayer dollars going to out-of-state millionaires who aren't held accountable. Still, by being a non-binding referendum, the local votes wouldn't dictate how tax dollars could be spent. The measure comes as Metro Nashville is vying for a major league soccer expansion team and the city is working on a deal to finance the construction of a stadium for the team. But McCormick said his real inspiration, and what has ruffled the feathers of some lawmakers across the state, are things that have happened over at Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. I think I've heard from a lot of people who say we should get a good look at subsidies going to sports stadiums owned by millionaires not even from Tennessee, he said. You have an NFL football team we're subsidizing that has players that can't even take a lousy two minutes to kneel during the national anthem. McCormick alluded to NFL football players who have joined the number take any protests while the Star Spangled Banner plays before games. More, why do NFL players protest during national anthem? A timeline, from Kaepernick to Trump. More, Titans fans unhappy with NFL protests during anthem. The NFL team has received criticism at times for not coming out for the national anthem and kneeling during it. Some lawmakers, such as states and Paul Bailey, have left their seats empty in protest. This legislation is different from a measure previously filed by Rep. Judd Matheny that seeks to prohibit the state from providing state funding for professional sports organizations. Matheny's legislation was filed shortly after football players began kneeling during the anthem. But in regards to soccer, McCormick said since the Metro Council has already voted to sign off on a plan to use $225 million in revenue bonds for the soccer stadium project, the funds would most likely already be issued before the bill could go into effect. The bill was filed the day before the Beacon Center of Tennessee, a conservative think tank, called tax funds spent in 2017 on Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans, one of the worst examples of government spending. Reporter Jordan Buey can be reached at 615-726-5970 or a jbuey at tennessean.com. Follow him on Twitter at Jordan Buey.